Guys, thanks for all the interest in the U-Rig system. I, I promise I am going to get to the Build It video as soon as I possibly can. Um, I did want to knock something out here fast uh, to respond to some of the questions I've gotten. Um, I want to show you how to lock this system off and how to manage a load release and descent from the mechanical advantage configuration when you don't have a porty in the system. Um, what you're going to hear here is not rocket science, it's old ideas, but applied in a new configuration. Um, it, I, I hope it's useful for you to see it. Um, here's the system again. It's configured as the mechanical advantage configuration. The control prusik is in the system. The load prusik is locked out of the system. And just to be clear here, the gas can is moving up and down uh, just to confuse the tourists. This is the anchor end of the system. You want the prusiks to be near you. You don't want them out wandering around the neighborhood. So this is the anchor end of the system, and the P-51 is the load end of the system moving with the load. Um, and in that configuration, you have a 5 to 1 purchase on the load uh, from this point. So how do you release the load when you have no porty in the system? Well, you could just, you could just take the control prusik and release the load like this. This is a fabulous idea if your family owns a prusik factory. If not, it's a much better idea to spread this friction out over uh, more cordage and not letting it concentrate just on the prusik and eat up your prusik. And where do you do that? Just take the working end of your line and put it through the steel anchor beaner. Now, when it comes time to release the load, you release the prusik almost completely and manage the descent through your brake hand. And how much friction you need at this point is a function of, of your load and your arm strength. And, uh, a half turn on that beaner behind a five to one advantage is generally all that's needed. If you need more, you can take another, uh, you can go to a full round turn on that. You can tie a munter on there. Uh, a munter behind a five to one will stop a train. And, and you can, even though you're dealing with rigging forces at this level, you're dealing with less than climbing forces down here, and there are hundreds of climbing, rappel, and belay devices that you can choose and uh, help manage the friction you want out of the working end of your line. All right, so that's the, uh, the load release. How about safetying this system? Well. The rescue guys will recognize what I'm doing here as the radian load release hitch, and the climbers will recognize it as the munter mule. You can go on the internet and learn how to tie that. The, as you apply this to the U-rig, there are two things to remember. One is you want to do it up from the bottom, not down from the top. You want to bring the cordage up from the bottom to tie your mule. And once you get it tied, you want to jam the whole thing down onto the P-22. That safeties the mule against the pulleys. It's going nowhere. And it turns off the control prusik automatically. And that means the cordage is constrained through all of these nice soft radiuses and you've got the better part of 30,000 pounds of cordage hanging on to 8,000 pounds of pulley. Terrific. You don't have a pressic trying to bite into the cordage at, at a local, uh, at a single place on the cordage. There's also another safety element that's built into this thing and that is when, you, when it comes time to release the system, you take a hold of the working end of the line and your hand never comes off that. When you pop the mule open, you're in full control of the load uh, through your brake hand. But 
if you go out for a beer and forget about that completely, the load doesn't go anywhere because removing the mule has automatically turned the control prussic back on. And so you've got the safety of the prussics looking after the load all the time. To my way of thinking, this is one of the huge advantages of the U-Rig over a fiddle block system. Credit where credit is due, the cam of a fiddle block system has almost zero friction when you're taking in line. It just completely has no friction on the line. But you never see fiddle block systems applied in rescue work because of the issue of the load running accidentally. With the U-Rig, you have the safety of prussics like a rescue system, but you have the efficiency of fiddle blocks because these are not ratchet prussics or rigging prussics. They're real climbing prussics. They're performance prussics that release very clean and are very efficient in their operation. And, um, and so you get the best of, uh, best of both worlds. Um, I'm going to have the Build It uh, uh, video out uh, as soon as I possibly can. Thanks for watching.